All right. Hello, Idiots on Parade, the Too Ugly for TV podcast. We mock the news so you don't have to. Hello, Jake. How's it going? All is well here. That is Jake Vevra, stand-up comedian in New York City. I am Nathan Timmel, stand-up comedian in Iowa City, turning that ad off. I hate ads. Uh, We are doing something we have not done in a while. Uh, We are recording several days early. It is actually June 9th, 9th. So if on the 10th or 11th, the world comes to an end and aliens invade us and blow the planet up, and we don't talk about it on the 12th when this posts, that's why. It's not that we didn't want to talk about the alien invasion and them blowing up the world. It's just that it hasn't happened yet. We are recording early because Jake... You're going somewhere next In week. fact, I really hope you skip that part and we just sound like the biggest alien apologists ever. <laughs> I'm talking about going to the beach. Everybody's getting that fucking thing from the Matrix twisted into the back of their noggins. Yeah, we're just talking about, oh, isn't it a nice summer? Oh, my summer's going really well. We're just completely ignoring it so that uh, so they take pity on us and uh, use yeah. us as their... We will be the Fox News for alien invasion. We will be the, Absolutely. the propaganda. Absolutely. Where are you going next week? Why are we recording early? Uh, North Carolina. Visiting the wife's uh, family. Getting away yeah, from... Yeah, uh, just visiting the wife's family. Outer Banks, man. Beautiful. Can't wait to go down there. Have you checked the... Uh, you are in, as I said, New York City. You are in the news a fucking lot lately. Um, are you looking to get away from the smog? I mean, I see in the back, it looks like you have a good natural light going on. Is, is sun shining through all the Canadian wildfire smoke? Yeah, it's actually pretty much gone. Uh, it was I, I was gone Tuesday when I guess it was kind of getting bad. Yeah, I was back Wednesday when it was really bad. Uh, I, I mean, I got back Tuesday night, but it was it was like nighttime, and I could smell it when I got off the. But I got off the uh, uh, the the Amtrak, and then just immediately got onto the subway, and I could kind of smell a little bit of like a wood thing, but I assumed it was like a restaurant. And my apartment's pretty close to the subway. <laughs> wait, wait, so wait, wait, wait. On... You thought it was a restaurant. You you ignored what's been national news for three days. Well, well no, this was Tuesday. This was like Tuesday night. Oh. So I'd been I'd it was been just starting like in DC. Yeah. All that. Yeah, it was just starting. And apparently it was kind of bad that day. Like it was probably in the news, but I was, you know, like I was in I was in DC. I was interviewing a bunch of Congress people. And uh so I get I get done with that and I, I get off the train. And again, it was just so light that like, you just think somebody's barbecuing or something. And I just, I just went in and then woke up the next day and it was completely fucked. Yeah. I mean, the pictures I've seen, there's, there's a great, I sent you an article, I think with sliders where they put uh, a slider on the screen and then you can push back and forth to show normal view of New York Wednesday's view and fuck, you couldn't see anything. Oh yeah, dude. I I paste I uh, I posted a bunch of pics from uh, uh, like the yeah I saw the Series XM Instagram offices. Pics, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was just completely. Oh no, uh, I saw you in DC. I didn't see uh, pics from the office. Yeah, no, I posted some from up uh, 36 floors in Midtown, and yeah, the whole thing is just completely. And I didn't even take the pics at the worst part of the day either. Hmm. Well, there you go. Well. Uh, you are escaping anyway, and uh, if there are more wildfires, then you'll be in North Carolina. Uh, and let's jump I hate in. to do this. I may have to pause because there's a whole thing going on at work right now over this this indictment. I may. I have was to just going to say, call, man. I did not send you links, but Trump got indicted again. Yeah, we'll talk until I may have to pause to talk about this for a worky poo thing. But yeah, it's annoying me personally because I have a uh, I have a, a vacation a, a, coming up, and how dare he get indicted when you have to leave? Well, and okay, not only am I leaving, but I was in I was in Washington uh, uh, all day Tuesday interviewing Congress members, and I have a pre recorded special. The the fucking last two hours of the show today was all going to be interviews with Congress people. That we went all completely outdated. It may have to get scrapped for a a, a fucking indictment. That uh, I it, 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 I don't even think this indictment's going to mean anything. Look, it's over the documents that, as we've talked about, no one gives a shit about. It's it's if you're on the left, yeah, you want him to go down for anything. Right. If you're on the right, you're just like, oh, they're just trying to get him for this because they can't get him for uh, uh, those serious things that they lied about him doing. Well, did did we ever determine, and this is what's fucked up, not fucked up, this is just life, that 
it was big news, big news, big news, and then it went away, and we all forgot about it, except for the most hardcore liberals that are like, ooh, get him for the documents. Did we ever determine if it was anything other than, like, was there one nuclear um, North Korea thing or something that was important? Well, no, I mean, what, what it is is it's, it's more the obstruction than the documents. Yeah, 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 I right? get that. I mean, Lots of people, it's, it's the fact that out of all these other people that had documents, they weren't specifically requested by the government to give them back and then refuse to do so. Yeah. So it's not the, it's not the, it's not the taking of the documents. Yeah. All presidents, all high up, uh, uh, federal people who have access to these things, but you know, if they wipe their ass with a piece of paper, that thing's fucking classified probably. So I mean, they're just, they have a ton of these things. It's just that if, if they realize you have them and ask for them back and you tell them no, and they have to fucking send people down to raid your goddamn golf course to get them. Then it's a more serious issue. Right. So it's not it's not the classified documents. It's the obstruction. That's the problem. Here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Because I remember when when after this happened, it was fucking everybody. They found him with Pence. They found him with Biden yeah. when he was VP um, and maybe in senator. I don't remember. The hang on. Hang on. Is... I got I got to pause to take a work thing. Sorry sure. about this. Man. I'll just put it on mute real quick. All right. Interruption, because as we said up front, uh, breaking news as of last night. So uh, just like I said at the beginning of this podcast, when the aliens invade and we don't talk about it. So you did a pre-recorded set of interviews that now are immaterial. I mean, you can. Yeah, show them I mean, they're going to they're going to live on the app and, and we're going to play them live on the yeah. show. Well, not live to pre-recorded, but like like we're going to air them. Uh, right. It's week, just but... they, they don't have the, uh, you know, yeah. the, the pressing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I get I get that it's big news. It's a former president getting federally indicted. It's just it, it feels like one of those things where this is just to sort of set him up for bigger stuff. You, well, you know, it's, what I mean? it's a whole. It's a been there done the that thing. What's up? It's a been there done that. If it was anyone but Trump, it would be huge news. Right. But it's just sort of I don't want to say expected, but at the same time. You, you get the left, and I still see people that get their hopes up and get erections like, ooh, we got them this time, I got a boner. And it's like, just, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. He was found guilty of sexual assault. And I think we talked about this. My Twitter feed was filled with Republicans screaming, not rape, not rape. It's like, right. oh, good. <laughs> I mean, I don't... My president is a groper, not a raper, sir. <laughs> like, I what? Mean, I don't know what this while you were uh, on that call and we paused it. I looked up the morning news and the article that caught my eye was can Trump still run for president after being indicted? And the answer was yes. You just have to be a natural citizen. 14 years of what I just like. I, I, I can't remember where I saw this. I think you can was, run from a jail cell. Can't, that's yeah, a, I, I mean, was just going to say. Can, I can't remember where I saw this, but a prisoner can run for president from jail, but if charged with a federal crime, cannot vote for himself. Like, <laughs> you, well, it's got to suck if you lose by one vote, huh? That's got to <laughs> feel like a real uh, a, a, a fucking uh, a distortion of justice. Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, if only I hadn't uh, committed that federal crime, I could have run for president. And voted for myself. If only, yeah. if only my attorney had gotten it bumped from federal to a state, a non-federal violation, I would have been able to vote. I got consent every time, except for that one, and now I, <laughs> now I lost. Well, speaking speaking of consent, but um, I will say that I will say sure. before we go on, I will say this could be like a bigger thing if if he gets convicted of this and gets convicted of another thing, because it's just the way our, our judicial system works is like, if you get convicted of other fucking crimes after yeah. you've already been convicted of one crime, then it's a bigger deal. So I, it could, it could lead to other stuff. They could be doing this one first to uh, uh, gather more evidence in the, in the investigation of this one that could lead to, because again, the biggest thing that he did was the whole trying to overthrow the government thing. Was Georgia? I was going to say get him on that. You're not getting We're waiting him on, on Georgia with the yeah. phone call. Literally the phone call. Hey, I need you to find me eleven thousand vote votes. I that right there is attempted voter fraud. It, it there there's manipulation. So, well, you it, got him on tape. Yeah. All right. Well, what what was I saying? Oh, consent. Uh, Rudy Giuliani has asked. Let me pull it up so I can just read the headline. Uh, Rudy Giuliani asks judge to toss 
salacious reference to his appearance in Borat movie denies making racist remarks and selling pardons in response to ex staffer sex abu- abuse lawsuit. Um, the, she, the, the staffer says she has evidence that he tried to sell pardons. I think that's funny. But what's funniest to me, what's funnier than that is the whole, hey, I know I am on trial for inappropriate uh, uh, behavior, sexual, uh, very inappropriate. But could you please not show the evidence of me laying on a bed and adjusting my dick in a way no one tucks in a shirt? I have tucked in a thousand shirts, Jake. I have never once had to lay down in a bed and reach my head hand down into my crotch to touch the uh, other head, even though I just I did the uh, the the Freudian slip there, the head. But yeah, he's on a bed playing with his junk and he doesn't want that evidence. Of course, he doesn't. It shows that he's a fucking pervert. I was she. I don't know, man. I I kind of had a different take when I watched the thing was I'm like that lady was coming on to him. You, you know mm. what I mean? Like that was the whole bit. So right. I, I mean, it's it's definitely embarrassing. You know that said, it made it seem like the lady wanted to have sex with him. You know, he's, I, he's not out of his mind. Like, oh hi, how are you? I'm gonna start adjusting my dick. You're right. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's not like yeah, it's is well. Uh, thank you, Mister Former Mayor and and former. Uh, he was Attorney General, right? I'm having a total. Brain I don't really. but but yeah I, no, uh, mr I shady trump guy <laughs> you know it, it, it it's not like they just kind of shook hands and just had thank you for the nice professional interview and now i'm touching my dick like no it was it what? seemed like that was she the was, joke she was supposed to get him turned on right that was the whole gotcha thing and then and then borat burst in going what are you doing? This is my my niece. She is only 15. You know, it, it's yeah. clearly a woman who wasn't 15. It was, you know, and, and it was funny because I was seeing all these gotcha article headlines saying Rudy Giuliani tries to have sex with 15 year old. It's like, no, he didn't. <laughs> it was a woman who interviewed him with like a whole big professional like studio camera style setup and then tried to sleep with him. So I this is the one thing that Rudy Giuliani's done in the last. 10 years that I actually agree with was him trying to touch his dick when that yeah. lady tried to touch his He's dick flirting with me. I'm going to see how far I can take this. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. It's... I don't disagree with you. I agree with you. I just think it's funny that um, he should use that as his evidence. Then he should want this in court. Hey, I only respond in kind. I do That's not right. make demands that you're, I, I am on Dude, your if side. I'm his lawyer. I'm going to look how long, Look how long this uh, hot 25-year-old had to come on to me before I put my hand anywhere near my dick. And even then, it was when she wasn't in the room. I was adjusting it on my own. I didn't even think she could see that. If anything, I was trying to stifle my urge to not come on too quickly. Look what a gentleman I am. Yeah. God damn, Jake. You... Fuck, you, you need to reach out to his legal defense team and say, get this uh, extraction, get this this, uh, this this squashing out of the way. We want this entered as evidence. Rudy, for getting rid of the mob and uh, cleaning up a lot of the crime in New York before I moved here. I'm doing this one pro bono. He Play did... the evidence. Play the tape. Play the tape, Rudy. He did kind of fuck up Times Square. Like, I, I visited Times Square back uh, at, at the tail end of the 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 crack infestation and sure, drugs and prostitutes. Sure. And now it's all Disney and family friendly, which, you know, tourists like, but you know, I, I, he, he kind of made that uh, less fun, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He did. He did. It, it, I mean, but Hey man, less stabbings as well. What do you yeah. want? You know, you can have Disney or stabbings. All Those right. Are the two options. I also, uh, while you were on, uh, when we were on pause, I looked up a news story that has been pretty big. Um, I just clicked a headline. I'm going to surprise you with a news story right now and uh, your reaction. It is the very tragic stabbing of children in France. Uh, Did you hear about that? I I think so. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, it it happened. And so I've been reading news about it. It's pretty disgusting. Well, now the update is French, quote, backpack hero. Um, It was a guy, a 24-year-old guy who saw what was happening and attacked the, the assailant, the asshole with the knife that was hurting kids. Well, he says his faith gave him strength to fight knife man. Uh, where was the quote I found? All I know is that I was not there by chance. God put me in that park. Um, 
look, I don't want to make fun of it's horrible what that asshole with the knife did stabbing kids. But where was God when that guy was stabbing, stabbing the kids? God's response is, well, this guy's going to stab some kids. So instead of stopping that from happening, I'm just going to put a guy in the park uh, who's faithful to me to prevent it from being worse and stabbing more kids. I'm I'm not sure I like that logic. The whole, yeah, this bad thing is happening. I'm here to put an end to it because God doesn't want to put an end to it before it starts. He he wants some kids to get stabbed, but not all the kids. Or I don't know. It just seems kind of fucked up to say God put me there to eh, let it happen a little, but then put an end to it. Well, I checked with Pat Robertson on this story right before he died, and he told me. That basic God did want to stop it before it happened, but he put like a sort of like a newer angel on it. You know what I mean? Kind of like oh. a, kind of like a temp, like an intern or something. Uh, like and, like the uh, the 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 newbie on uh, that uh, Harry Potter show. Uh, the the fuck 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 miracle I've workers. Never, miracle I workers. Seen it. I haven't seen it, but if it's uh, about it's, it's stabbings a, it's, in France, yeah, then that's that's exactly like this. No, it's it's about uh, two angels that work for God, and uh, they just sort of uh, he. Oh, I have heard of this. Harry Potter answers prayers, but he only answers like he ignores big prayers, like "Please save my life" or "Please whatever." And he's like, and he responds to "Please find my car keys" or "Please find my glove." And then he spends time so that you know making it so that the car keys. No, that's right. Most of the prayers he answers are sports related, and even then, only for the teams he likes. Yeah, exactly. it's, It's kind of a wash. Yeah. All right, uh, moving on. I don't want to spend too much time on this because we talked about it a lot last week, but I did go look at the Hunter Biden pictures. Jake, I have a favorite Hunter Biden picture on the on the Internet. Oh, um, yeah. We talked about how they put uh, blue dots over his dick. Right. I found one where he is ass facing the camera and they put a nice. blue line down his ass crack like a thong. You can see two butt cheeks on either side, but instead of showing the full butt, they put a blue line down Hunter Biden's butt crack just to make sure that you could not see the full butt. Left butt cheek, fully visible. Right butt cheek, fully visible. The crack covered by a blue line. God bless whoever did that. That uh, my Puritan eyes, my my Puritan Christian Amish eyes did not have to see a whole butt. There's only one kind of crack that we leave unblurred on Hunter Biden's <laughs> laptop photos, and it's the one that's a felony. What? That doesn't I didn't make even sense. Think of that. It could be the other way. It could be the other way around, right? <laughs> you think you think the crack that could get you like like 25 years in prison for more than a gram of it when the president's son has a whole scale that shows you just how many grams of poos he has? Uh, you think that would be the one that's blurred? Uh, not well, he talking, would right? he would blur that one. You're you're right. If he were going through and not taking all these idiot pictures of, hey, I'm going to take a picture of my drug paraphernalia, he would blur that. Yeah. I'm just, it's funny that the censors, the the person right. that we that we that was in the uh, that was in the article that said, I'm not going to show nudity. <laughs> we have to blur this up because we can't invade on someone's privacy or embarrass them or make them look bad. Only show the crack rocks that he has on a scale where you can tell the exact amount. And yes, it is a felony. We can't embarrass him. We can just expose 10,000 pictures, they said, just with his wiener covered. We could show all the debauchery, but we don't want to embarrass. We don't, no shame. No, no, no shaming him. I mean, all these photos have done is just made me love the man more. Honestly, he reminds me of what I would do if I had money and connections. You know, <laughs> I, did I would see be a, Hunter S. Biden. I did see a comment online that said uh, I they think uh, part of the reason uh, the Trumps are so angry and keep bringing this up is because Don Jr. is jealous because he thought he was the most famous cokehead uh, politician's son. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it, it, it's rough to be up to upstaged by the very next guy. In dramatic fashion. It's got to be. Well, you have work things. Is there anything you wanted to bring up? Any any news that we didn't? Because this is, as I said, we're recording early. We had to do it rushed uh, just so we stay new and relevant and hip with the kids. Yeah, I mean, the, the smog thing, I guess, it seemed pretty... It, it seemed pretty wild that... It, it shows you how, how nationally focused we are on the news, where they go, 
people in New York, they can't see good and they're coughing a bit. Meanwhile, a few miles up the road in a place called Canada, there's an area the size of Vermont on fire and no one's going, hey, how are those fucking guys doing? I was at Quebec last year. It's a beautiful place. Lovely people. I'm angry because I had that exact thought. I was looking at a collage of headlines about New York and in the back of my mind, I had that exact same thought. And then it just sort of went away like, OK, so, yeah, the, the smoke is down here. I, I looked it up. It said uh, the size of Maryland. But either way, is like, yeah, huge forest fires. And the response is <laughs> New York. It shows you what self-centered cunts America and especially New York is where they're going. <clears throat> this is a tragedy. I mean, I can't like go for a run this morning because like, look at this. Look at this. I mean, I, I got to put a mask on. I got to put a mask. Meanwhile, area the size of Vermont on fire, people being evacuated. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole fucking thing. I, I got to go to the gym and get, be on the treadmill. It's, it's yep. spring. I should be outside. Yeah, absolutely. And, and shout out to the people that are still walking around smoking cigarettes and vaping in that weather. Those are the real <laughs> heroes. That's right. You don't let. You don't let big climate fucking tell you what you can and can't put in your lungs. Only way out of the hurricane is through. You never drop anchor in a storm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God bless smokers. All right, right Jake. Mike. Enjoy your vacation. Um, alien overlords, we welcome you. And uh, oh, look at that. Even though we were paused, it didn't uh, give us credit for pausing the recording. We're we're uh, running of out of time. It, it, it ate it up. So either way, short podcast today. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Take care. R.I.P. Pat Robertson. Rest in power, King. Oh, I did see uh, the best tweet I saw was, hey, everybody, just wanted to let you know that uh, all that smoke you see in New York is not from the Canadian wildfires. It's from the mouths of hell opening to accept Pat Robertson. <laughs> that was my favorite tweet of the day. I, I enjoyed that one. Oh, I did see another tweet. We didn't talk about this. Um, it's hard to describe this one because it's a visual joke. But when yeah. the Saudis and the PGA combined, a guy released a tweet. He said, uh, with the new uh, golf uh, combination, the PGA will control um, holes 1-8 and 12-18, and the Saudis will run 9-11. And I'm like, oh, that's good. <laughs> That is good. <laughs> yeah, but two other two other countries are getting attacked for whatever happens on those holes. You know. I mean, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> All right. Pat Take care, Robertson. Everyone. Pat Robertson. I hope that his hell is is customized for him. I hope he's uh, he's all sitting... rainbows and unicorns. It's he's sitting in a drag queen story hour that just never <laughs> ends. Just page after page after page for all eternity. He's reading the book I Am Jazz hell. about the uh, the the jazz the the little uh, girl's journey from a boy the uh, the child uh, that transitioned yes that's right like he's being burned and has all the hell stuff going on but while that's happening he's at like a drag queen brunch and he's got some hostess going on to him going that's hot isn't it bitch you know and it's like a whole it's a whole fucking thing it's divine doing the reading big old king yes. down here yes he's being beaten by divine. <laughs> All right, kids. Have a good weekend. Later. Wait, this is Posting Monday. Have a good week. I hope your weekend was good. <laughs>